So that would look uh, something like this. Okay. How, in other words, this is how I arrived at that. Okay. Um, if I look back year to date at um, the training hours that, that I've had, the, the number of hours I've trained, um, it's an average of 95 hours per month. Okay, 95 training hours uh, per month. Now, if I work, uh, say, half time, say 20 hours, right? Actually, um, not all of that would be training hours. There'd be some admin uh, time in that. But let's say that it worked out to uh, 20 hours a week, uh, but four of those would be admin hours on Mondays. Uh, that means that you're looking at about 69 hours, okay, training hours uh, per month, okay? Just, this is an average. This, this obviously would vary uh, from uh, month to month, that sort of thing. But you basically uh, look at that and compare it to the 95 hours, what I've done on average over the past year, um, well, then that basically comes out to about 73% uh, of those training hours. Um, I know I'd end up doing 73% of the work, okay, for essentially for half the labor costs. So uh, there is an impact there, um, I think. I think you can make a good case that there's a positive impact to the company and that the bang for the buck, the ROI, essentially is uh, is 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 pretty good, actually.